With this movie, we'll take a look at adding some additional complexity to cloth using a wave deformer. Wave deformers are really cool. You can animate them over time. You can change the shape of objects over time. But what we're going to do is use it to add some additional complexity to a cloth plane so that we get more believable and interesting folds just for a better scene. I have Allison looking coy on a bed here, and I created just a cloth plane and gave it some basic material handling so we can tell it from the bed. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings I have set up in the cloth room currently. I want collision friction. So like a typical heavy blanket, it would rub against itself and slow down upon collision. The fold resistance I've left at five because I want this to be kind of substantial, but we'd seen with kind of the poncho one, we get some coarser folds, which is fine. But the shear resistance, I'm allowing it to form over the body and get some of those detailed types of folds as it gets a little bit smaller. So we'll see how that plays out. I left everything else the same except for cloth density, which actually increased a little bit. So this has a little more gravity to it, a little more weight. It just improves the bending when you're going for something like this that's a little more realistic like that. Let's go ahead and run the simulation right here and look at what it does without any deformers. Now, I would encourage you whenever you're doing draping to go ahead and take your cloth plane, if you're working with one, and allow a corner to strike a surface first instead of a smooth edge striking a smooth edge. It creates much more complexity in the final results and finally looks a little more believable. So let's get this thing going. I've got it set for a 40 frame drape. Let's calculate that. Okay, that finished. And let's go ahead and take a look around the scene here real quick. Get a little bit of a funny bend right up here on the edge right above the knee, but we're getting some nice action across the legs there, and that looks good. Well, let's introduce a deformer and look a little bit more of how we can change or enhance this. What I'm going to do is say clear simulation, which will take that back up to its natural, glorious square self. And now we'll add a wave deformer. We'll go to object, create wave. And since the object is selected when we add the wave deformer, it's automatically chosen by the deformer to perform the actions on. So if we didn't want to do that, or we wanted to assign another object, we would have to go back to the pose room, we would go to properties, and then we could go ahead and add an additional or a different object if we wanted to do that. The parameters for the deformer are pretty clear. If you spend any time in your math class and didn't fall asleep during that, in geometry, we've got a variety of different type of waveforms. The most important one you want to pay attention to right here is the amplitude. It's at 0.43. I'm going to increase this to 0.45 just to get a little more significance to the waves. And then I'm going to leave it on the sinusoidal, which is this kind of smooth up and down type of wave, more like a ripple in a pond. If you have a need for anything else, those options are here as well. Turbulence is very powerful, but I would encourage you to use that with small numbers. We won't use it here because I just want to get some of this additional type of complexity into this as it happens. So with that in place now, let's go ahead and pop back into the cloth room. And once again, let's go ahead and run a drape function. And we're finishing up right here. And now what we have going on, we would want to play maybe with the positioning of the cloth, but we've got a much more gathered type of look. It's up to you whether you prefer those types of things, but this is how you can easily add some changes to the regular objects that you've got using deformers when you're using them in the cloth room. Just a really nice way to go ahead and have some fun with it.